Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 61. Inside this video, we will discuss about Resource Controller. So far inside this playlist, we had seen several commands or let's say several videos in which we have con created controller. But what is the difference between a simple controller and a resource controller, we will see in a second. So first of all, if I back to editor, now what is the default location of storing controllers? We all know, go inside this app, HTTP and controller. Inside this controllers folder, when we create any controller like resource controller or let's say a normal controller, then it will go and store inside this controllers folder. So here we have some controllers what we have created so far inside this playlist. Now back to terminal. So let's think about the simple command by the help of which actually we can create a normal controller. So for that php artisan we have a command called make controller and next we need to pass the controller class name. So let's open our help manual. So php artisan simply type help here and it will be make controller. So when I press enter now here the complete details or let's say the help manual of this command is so basically this command is used to create a new controller class and after this command means php artisan make controller we need to pass a name argument which is the name of the class so while creating controller there are several options we have which we can pass while creating a controller so inside this options list as you can see, we have an option called minus "-r", or minus minus "-resource". What it will do? Simply, it will generate a resource controller class. So first of all, let's create a normal controller, and then we will create a resource controller, and compare what is the difference between those. So simply, to create a normal controller, let's php artisan make controller and let's say for now we are going to create a device controller. So when I press enter, controller created successfully and the controller class will be stored inside this controllers folder. So when I reload this directory structure, go inside this app HTTP controllers and here we have a device controller. Now this is the skeleton of creating a normal controller. Inside this controller class, we don't have any methods. Instead, we have a simple comment. Now next, let's generate a resource controller. So PHP, artisan, let's say make. Here we have controller. And if we type a controller class name, let's say a member controller. And after that, we need to pass minus "-r", or simply minus minus "-resource". By putting this flag, we are telling this command that we need to create or generate a resource controller. So simply pressing enter, controller created successfully. Now if I back to editor, again reload this directory structure. Now inside this controllers folder, we have a new controller called membercontroller.php. So when I open this file, now as we can see that there are several methods added inside this member controller class. So we have an index method which is used to display a listing of the resource. Here we have a create method so the form creating a new resource. Here we have a store method, so method, edit, update and destroy methods. So what is the difference between a normal controller what we have created and a resource controller? So just think about when we are doing a CRUD operation and inside this we have a misspelled all about the device spelling. So just think about when we are doing a CRUD operation. CRUD it means we are doing a create, read, update and delete. It means we are doing a CRUD operation with the database. So in those cases, we need to create the individual methods inside this controller. 
it means one method is used to list all the data one method is used to list the data means to render our layout or say a form and we have a method to update our data some methods for the delete destroy and etc so inside this normal controller we need to create each individual method for each individual operation but in that situation just think for this member controller or let's say for a resource controller what we have generated so resource controller is used to operate with the cut operations because by default inside this skeleton we already have all the CRUD methods now this is the difference and one more difference if I back to terminal and simply PHP artisan and we have a command to list all the routes what we have so far inside this application so this is called route list now if I press enter let's zoom out for a moment to see all the routes of the application and here inside this there are several routes what we have created so far so here as you can see inside this UI section we have API user forget password and this is too much because we have used or let's say installed or authentication inside our setup here we have a login log out register again register reset password and now here as you can see that we have sample and id if i scroll down here we have a student and id so when we type this url where we will find this url if we go inside this web.php here we had written a sample and a student so while putting this URL we are calling a student controller and inside this student controller we will have calling our index method so if I back to terminal so when we type this URL it will call a student controller and index method and which type of method type so here we have get request type so again when we go inside this web.php here we have controller index method here we have the route and get request type if I back to terminal scroll down and this is so far what the routes are available inside this application now when we go inside this web.php let's attach our resource controller with web.php file so how can we attach as we know to attach any of the method of normal controller we need to pass a arrow symbol means array symbol inside this array we need to pass the first value as the controller class and the second value as the method which is going to attach when we call this route but when we will implement or let's say attach a resource controller so first of all let's attach this resource controller inside this web.php so we are importing so here we have member controller and if we go inside this route and let's say that route simply we need to put here called resource inside this resource here we need to pass the name of the route so let's say we are putting let's say member and inside this second value we need to put our controller now this time we don't want to pass or we don't want to need to pass any array symbol simply we need to type called member controller so here we have member controller and it's a class because by default it is going to return an array of routes all we have done so if we save all these changes back here again when we type called php artisan route list pressing enter now inside this route list if we scroll up to see all the routes of our member so now inside this route list here we have the first route called member which is the type of get request and it is calling from member controller and index method let's make it some zoom so here we have the route called member and when we hit this member with the get request type then it will call member controller and index method 
Now in the next, when we hit the member route with the post request type, then it will call member controller and store method. Again if I scroll, so here we have member create. When we type member create with the get request type, then in this situation, it is going to call member controller and create method. So it means it is loading all the routes with all the methods called update, destroy, store, create, index means all the methods attach with different different request type. So this is the another difference between a normal controller and a resource controller. In the normal controller, we need to create each individual method for each individual request type and operation. But inside this member controller, each method has their different different role. The first method is index which is used to list the data. Second, the create method is used to render the layout. Let's say we have a form. So by the help of this create method, we will render that form. In the next, we will have a store method. By the help of this store method, we will save our data. By the help of this form, what we have rendered inside this create method. Now next, we have a so method. So by the help of this so method, we will display a single detail means let's say we have actually means stored our members data. So by the help of this so method, we will display a single member detail. Now next, this is called edit method, which is used to enter a form for edit operation. By the help of this ID, we will fetch the data of member and display inside a edit form layout. By the help of this update method, we will update the updated information of the member form what we have displayed here. Now next finally, we have a destroy. Simply by the help of this ID, it will destroy a member instance or it's a member row from our database. So this, these are the differences guys what we had seen for a normal controller and a resource controller. So I hope it will be clear. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.